I'm David Friedman, and this is my wife Deborah. We've been married just under 27 years. We started dating. Within three months, we were engaged, and we were married the following year. And we're really blessed, truly. We have two terrific kids, and we're really excited to see what unfolds for them in their future. The stroke happened December 20th, last year. And, you know, it was just another day in the life of we were getting up to go to work. David falls back into the chair. Yeah, fell into the chair. Beside the bed. I just knew. And so I said, David, I'm going to call 911 and get an ambulance here because I think you're having a stroke. I was falling apart, but I got to VGH. This is in 20 minutes. They had already completed a CAT scan by the time I had arrived. Reflecting back on that, I'm just like, how did they have the wherewithal to get him to that level of care immediately upon arrival to the hospital? When someone has an acute stroke and is attended to, we call it the swarm. So in order to treat people as quickly as possible, you need a bunch of different people doing different jobs in parallel in order to get everything done, in order to restore that blood flow to the brain as quickly as possible. They advised me that David's health had deteriorated and that they needed to take him in for emergency surgery. Dr. Heron was able to stent the artery open from the inside in order to get that blood flow back to David's brain in order to improve his symptoms, and he did very well with that procedure. It wasn't until three days after, in the morning, alone, that I just broke down when I realized that I had a stroke. I, I didn't know why I was there. I didn't know who Deborah was, the kids. It was definitely a different dad that I grew up with. and he, he may have been smiling, but I could tell that something was wrong. I had to pull it together. I had to be there for David. I had to get him through this. There was no way that we were going to lose this fight. And you needed to talk to me, darn it. Every time that they saw each other, it lightened up his day, it made her day better, and even though she was going through such a hard time, just seeing his recovery, I think, made it a lot easier on her, too. She just kept pushing forward and kept pushing for my dad to fully recover. The brain is always rewiring, whether or not you're involved in intensive therapy, but the sort of intensive therapy that GF Strong provides for patients uh, is kind of a boot camp for the brain and for the body. VGH. GF Strong, they were the lifeline for us. He's definitely taking an active recovery and getting his fitness back up and getting his, his like mental stamina. Golf is his new job. He can walk nine holes. The one thing that he taught me when I was younger was that the little things don't matter as much as long as it doesn't affect the big picture and that this stroke is just a little thing. The big picture is that He's still my dad and he's more awesome now than <laughs> ever. So much of the growth that we've had over the last few years through the Vancouver Stroke Program has been thanks to philanthropic donors. Extra things that we're able to do thanks to donor money includes getting new cutting edge technologies and uh, also to hire the best people so that they can go and take care of stroke patients around the province and across the country. We can't rely on our taxes to do this, to make sure that the kind of surgery that David had that they knew how to do and you know 10 years ago they wouldn't have. He's here today because somebody saw a sign that made a big difference to us. It makes a big difference to my kids, to my family. Their care, their attention to details saved David's life. <laughs>